Hello, welcome to Cigar Vets. This is actually part two of, I think, maybe a three or four part um, review I'm going to do on the Alvantor Bubble Tent. Uh, the last one I did, I discussed a couple of um, installation tricks or tips or whatever have you, but I've had a lot of questions about this. I'm gonna bring you in and show you how I'm using this as my uh, cigar lounge. So, welcome. This is the 15 foot by 15 foot bubble tent. Um, I've had it up now for about three weeks. And like I said, I've had a lot of questions, so I'll talk about it and try to answer a few of those. Uh, I've left this up exposed to the elements um, since I put it up. Uh, we've had quite a few heavy rainy days and it's pretty much stayed dry other than the little bit of uh, rain that came in from, from the bottom. It's actually snowing now, it's sunny as could be, and there's literally snow falling, so that's pretty cool. I feel like I'm in a snow globe <laughs> while I'm doing this and my son's on the camera laughing. So anyway, to get to it, again, this is a 15 foot by 15 foot Alvantor bubble tent, and my main purpose for this is an outdoor cigar lounge. I'm located in Northern Virginia, it's been about 30 or 40 degrees and I've been out here and able to enjoy a cigar by myself. I have been struggling with um, a strong odor of cigar that just remains in this. I'm not sure if it's in the plastic or the fabric of, of our sofa furniture that I have out here, um, but it is pretty heavy so I've uh, been cautious and, and mindful to empty the ashtrays when I'm done. I keep this uh, thermometer in here so I have an idea of how warm it is. Right now it shows that it's 66 degrees inside of this tent. I will tell you I just checked the temperature before filming this and it's 43 degrees outside. So that's a significant difference. Um, the temperature, I'm actually hot. I'm going to take this jacket off and smoke a cigar here in a little bit. I do have this um, space heater running and I've had it running for a couple of hours now just to kind of warm up before I get out here. And the problem that I've encountered with this is balancing the ventilation to the heat. I've been out here smoking by myself and it gets really smoky in here, um, almost too smoky. As I go to open up one of these doors, um, it ends up getting too cold to actually enjoy it. So I point out there is a vent on top of this door. Um, obviously the heat rises and you lose everything the minute you open this up. Uh, or shortly after. I tried a combination, opening one on that side and one on this side. Um, so it's, it's something to balance out. What I, what I realized, I did have a couple of buddies come over, we smoked together, there were three of us in here, and it was actually a nicer day in the 50s. So I was able to keep the doors pretty much open, uh, and we, we ended up getting a little cold as the sun set. So what I did is I ordered a propane tabletop uh, patio heater that's coming in, a, in another week or so. And what I wanna do is see how that propane can help heat this thing up with more than one smoker. Because again, you know, I like to enjoy smoking cigars with, with friends. So um, somebody suggested that I try uh, a small uh, solo stove fire in here. I knew that was a bad idea, but I tried it. Uh, a small fire and solo stove just doesn't heat up enough with a small fire to be as smokeless as it's supposed to be. So this thing filled up with smoke and I did have a hose ready. I anticipated that the heat would rise up and melt this thing and, and the plastic on this got very soft. So Avantor does um, caution folks for, for setting a, a fire near this. It, it will go up, it got really warm. So um, I would wanna point out that I did buy these shades that go on here. Um, I bought three of them. They're like 20 something dollars for three. It does help from the sunlight uh, beaming in onto your face. However, I take them down during the day so I can absorb that here with the colder temperatures. Um, one of the things that I did do for myself is I brought an air purifier into this tent to help when I'm smoking the cigars. I'll actually bring this into the center of the table and try to blow my cigar smoke into that to help out. Because I'll sit out here for two, three hours. I'll smoke, you know, two cigars um, and it can get very smoky. So just by myself. Um, I'll do another review once I get that tabletop stove out here so I can try to figure out that balance between the heat and the ventilation. I think that's really the trick. If you're looking to use one of these for 
uh, cigar smoking experience. If you're just looking for an outdoor enjoyment um, during inclement weather, this thing is, is pretty sweet. I think you'll have no issues keeping it warm, keeping it dry, um, and I think you'll be very happy with it. But since this is for my cigar pleasure, I'm, I'm speaking specifically more so about the cigar. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll answer them in about two to three weeks when I plan on doing my third video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.